Okay, so this morning it took me a little while to process what I was looking at. It definitely felt like a glitch in the matrix. What is it? A deja vu is usually a glitch in the matrix. It happens when they change something. What I'm referring to is this number right here, 687, is not accounted for in any of the major CPOs, nor when I comb through the last updates since uh, the file I had previous, I can't account for those numbers. Now, last night, uh, there was a pretty large update to the database. I know that because there's a field called updated at, which is a time value field. And it kind of looks like half the records in this database were touched for some reason last night. Um, right around five o'clock in the morning, Greenwich Mean Time. So it looked like some backend processing took place and <clears throat> about half of the records in this database were altered for some reason. And that may be where this is coming from, but still I should be able to see, and I've ran some very long queries that took about 20 minutes to compare the two tables, trying to find where these uh, differences in numbers are coming from. And right now I cannot, it's, it's very frustrating to me. Um, and you'll see in a couple of the other CPOs, there's some glitchy data as well. So it's a little disturbing, um, but I just need to be transparent. I like to be very accurate with my data reporting. Uh, we can make fun of my town pronunciations, but my data, I always try to be accurate with. Okay, BP Pulse added three stations, uh, but that's a little questionable. Mercedes-Benz added one, Love's added two, and there's a story here. Tesla did not add any, and I'll show what I have in the database from them. Electrify America added one, ChargePoint added 23, EVConnect added eight. The Rivian Adventure Network added one, but there's two additional straggler ons here that I'm going to explain as well. That's another glitchy data point. But their station count and stall count decreased. Francis added two. Let's get into the data. First BB Pulse. If you look Riverview, Riverview, Florida, it's a Thornton's. Six stalls. There's no pictures on PlugShare yet. But these other two look to be previous entries. Uh, you see four stalls and two stalls. So it looks like they might have entered these into the databases with previous um, open dates. So these are two stations that have already been open for a while, just entered into the database, which should have been picked up in my um, queries. And they and this one has, but even with this, there's nowhere near the 600 stalls that are missing. Okay, Mercedes-Benz was kind enough to open a... Simon Mall charging station, the first of their Simon Mall charging stations, very close to my house. So guess what I'm doing this weekend? This is the Gaffney Outlet Mall, which is halfway between Charlotte, North Carolina and Greenville, South Carolina. So I'll go down there and check it out. It is nine stalls open just today. Now Loves, I mentioned last week that I thought this station here in Tulare, uh, California, <clears throat> was um, likely the hardware ripped out and ChargePoint put in because we see ChargePoint here with two stalls. But I no longer think that's the case. I think what's going on is ChargePoint is now being used as the backend processor for the existing BTC hardware. So there's two additional stations that have been opened with open dates just this week with similar types of setup. The Trillium branded hardware in California with two stalls. So I'm pretty confident that's what happened. I don't think they've ripped out the hardware. I think they just changed the backend processor and so we get a new open date associated with them because the backend processor has changed. Okay, now Tesla, I just wanna confirm what I'm actually looking at in the database. You could see with these open dates, we're clipping along, everything is going good. And then right at January 15th, 16th, it stops, uh, which is when President uh, Trump took office. And I understand there was furloughing of federal employees during this time. So I'm guessing what happened is the offices of the Alternative Fuels Data Center basically emptied out and there were no staff. And then some of the staff came back, we're not sure to what extent there's not specific information about that that I know of. I know that there are staff there because they've responded to my email requests. And then we have one station showing up on February 25th, 
but nothing else. And we do know that Tesla is opening many stations. They're just not making it into this database. So that's the information I have. We're going to keep an eye on it uh, to see if anything starts breaking loose with Tesla. But right now, I don't have a way of tracking them through the Alternative Fuels Data Center database. Electrify America opened one station. It's an evolved New York Electrify America commercial partnership, six stalls in White Plains, New York, next to a very large garage. Here's ChargePoint, continuing to do a very active week's worth of work. And um, nothing really to call out here. Very common, usual suspects in the ChargePoint ecosystem. EV Connect, there is a bit of a story to tell. It's a continuation of the conversion of Duke Energy's stations to um, EV Connect from Shell Sky, which is all the South Carolina and North Carolina ones, I believe. I know for sure Old Fort was an existing station, but you see here the open date is just this past week. There is one new one here. This is called Mexico Beach, Florida. I've never heard of it. I had to look it up on a map, and it's over here kind of in the nape of the panhandle. And it is Duke Energy, but it, it is a new station. It has uh, just opened. So this is not an existing station that got converted over. This is actually a new station. Now here's Rivian. Now if you look at these two up, uh, these two on the bottom, Charlotte and Pooler, they are existing stations. And I looked in the database, and these existed with previous open dates, um, like. 2023, I know Charlotte, this is my local um, Rivian Adventure Network station, but it got a new open date for some reason. Not sure why. Um, maybe they're opening it up to uh, non-Rivian um, customers. I could swing by there and take a look either later today or sometime this weekend. So I'm not sure why Pooler and Charlotte are there, but this Henderson, North Carolina station is a new station and it did open this past week. Francis Open 2, there is no picture yet for the quick fill, but here's uh, Chambersburg Square in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. Nice looking station. Now an honorable mention is Blink. They had a very active week. I did get a um, tip, uh, tip from a Blink employee that the amount of activity was going to start to increase with Blink. And sure enough, that is what we're seeing here in Hiawatha, Iowa. Um, there's a there's multiple Blink stations at the McGrath family of dealerships, and the one that opened we don't have a picture of, but this is a similar station at the Ford dealership close by to the Hyundai dealership. And you can see it's a very nice build. You know we've got all the um, uh, appropriate equipment. We've got transformers, switch gear, and uh, two dual handled uh, charging dispensers. So it looks pretty nice. Anyway, thanks for watching.